Hey everyone, this is Ms. Gimmerly and welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to show you how you can get a lot of money, literally infinite amount of money in Starfield. So I'm sure you guys remember my old videos where I showed you guys how to make a lot of money in New Atlantis and all that stuff. Well, this one will give you double that money. So you can literally make double the amount of money that you made in the previous glitches. So let me tell you how to do this. All right, so the first thing what you're going to do is you're going to fast travel yourself to Narion, which is this place you see. Click here and then you will be going to the Stroud Star Yard. Let's go and jump, do a graph jump. All right, so once you've made it in this location, you'll have to go forward quickly and then dock your ship. All right, there you go. We should be able to dock now. Wait for the animation to play out. All right, now we're gonna board in. All right, once we're in this location, I'm gonna show you how to do the trick. But the first thing what you're gonna see is look at the pack I have. I have a basic boost pack. At the same time, if you look at my skills, I do not have a maxed out boost pack training skill. So I did it on purpose. I only got the rank one, just to show you that you can do this early. All right, now we're gonna do the trick. For that, you will be going forward in that location where I'm heading towards. Right, now this can be tricky a little bit. If you fall down while doing, doing the trick, you will be spawning back again in that location. So you can just come forward, right? Don't worry about that. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and enter this place because there is apparently no wall there and you can simply just glitch through it. So let's try to do it. If see, we can do it in the first try. There you go. You don't wanna jump like me, you will fall down. I told you, you will spawn back again. You can go forward and do it again. There you go. And now if you feel like you, you're stuck, you can't move and everything, go in the third person, then go in the first person, it will fix it. Now you're here properly, now you can head forward. Move a little bit right and try to go forward. Now I'll show you where the chest is at. Now I'll go in the third person quickly and show you that the chest is exactly in that location. That's where you have to go to steal the chest. Now since we are in rank one, um, we don't have a great booster pack. So we'll have to do it quick and you can do it easily. So you'll do a sprint. And then we'll do two jumps. You can do three jumps as well, doesn't really matter. But you will have to quickly get into the chest. You can press uh, whatever button you see for transfer. I recommend that. So let's do it quickly. Sprint. Jump. I got it. You see how quick that was? You could stay there, by the way. Once you enter this thing, you can stay there in the chest and get the item. But I pressed R on PC, which, which means when I press R on PC, let me show you what happens. For me, it's transfer. So I go inside and if I press R again, it will take everything from the uh, from the storage box or whatever you were looting. So that means I quickly took all the credits. That means there is no credit. And just to show you that there is no credits there, I can, I mean, I can just come here and show you quickly. And also show you how to respawn those things, by the way. So the chest is right below this. I'll go in the chest and show you that there is nothing left now. And I'm gonna go back up. And now, what if you want to bring the items back, right? Because we definitely need to do this trick again and again. For that, we'll be going back to Venus, my friends. The Venus is the best place to go. I'll tell you why. So let's go into the soul. Here's the Venus. We'll click on it and we'll have to probably jump. Of course, we'll have to jump. So let's jump. All right, we are at Venus, and if you want to land anywhere you want, if you haven't haven't landed before, just click somewhere. You'll be able to land. That's how easy it is. But let's say you already have a landing zone. Go there, enter the ship, sleep for six hours. Six hours is all you need. Oh no! I wish you could like simply spawn inside the ship. I wish there was a way. I think there is. I just maybe they don't, don't know how to do it. Anyways, just go up. You can sit wherever you want. You can basically sit here. It doesn't really matter. You can skip time here as well. Works. All right. Now we got to wait for six hours. Like I said, six local hours. That's 600 hours. And let's go and sleep. It will, it will not take you much time. It's only six local hours, right? So that's all we do. Once it's done, we're gonna go back to the place and repeat the whole process. The item should be back in the chest. So, we're done. Go to the map. Time to jump back again to Narion. 
I hope I'm pronouncing it right. I do mess up pronunciations a lot because English is not my first language, so it happens, right? Not, not there. Click here. Remember not to land in the in the planet. That's not where we're gonna go. We will have to go and dock. All right, heading here. By the way, I want to give a huge shout out to the DPJ. I think he's the one who found it. I mean, that's the video I watched. I watched his video. So, not sure who else found it first, but that's the guy who taught me how to do this. So, shout out to him. All right, so once we're done docking, enter in. All right, so once we're in, we are going to do the trick again. And just to check if the items have spawned or not, I will be going in the no clip. I'm going to activate no clip. And I go through the wall, and there you go. The chest has respawned, my friends. That's how you reset the vendor. Right? Six hours is more than enough. Not sure if this works with all the vendors, at least. But, yeah, I was about to say gender, but, uh, nah. I was about to get cancelled. But anyways, it's reset. We're going to do this again. We'll go forward, and we glitched. We'll go forward again. Slowly, slowly. Don't want to be quick with this. All right, jump. Jump. There you go. I'm inside. I, this time, I did not click... Uh, fast enough. So that means I'm stuck in the chest. I can just take it, do whatever I want, and then exit out. Boom. Done. Go to Venus. Sleep. Come back again. Repeat it. Be rich. So much fun. So fun. Oh, oh shit! They will kill me. Alright, guys. That's how you do the trick. Very easy peasy. You will love it. What is she doing? She's not even defending me. Anyways. That's how you do it, guys. And try the trick. Let me know how it goes. There's so many tricks. And there's, there's another one for the ships, by the way. Like, you're able to basically uh, get any ship parts you want. Let me know if you want to see that trick. What the fudge is she doing? Go do something. Just do something. God damn it. Alright, thank you for watching, everyone. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'm going to see you guys in the next video. What is happening here? Customer, it's all good. Trust me, it's good. I got a lot of loot, by the way. Now she's fighting. Glitch through the map directly. If not, well, you see what happened, right? When you fall down, you will be spawned back. Doesn't really matter. You can still sprint forward and do this trick again. Right, so you now know what happens. So you'll go forward slowly. Try to make it properly. Once you're stuck here, you can also go in the third person just to fix that. Jump, go forward, and you don't want to fall like me. Oh my God! If you have a better boost bag, you can just simply jump. But if you don't have one, you gotta be really quick with this thing. But it's very easy to do it. Now you might miss it at first, but I'll just show you how it works. You gotta sprint, jump, jump, and you see, you just glitched in. You don't want to do that. Oh, fuck's sake. <laughs>